Hey guys, welcome back to the Hat House. Appreciate y'all tuning back in for this sales video. And as always, it is loaded. It has some great hats going out. We've got a polo hat that you really want to be on the lookout for. It's a little different. Uh, also got a band hat that uh, we unboxed the other day uh, that sold pretty quickly and kind of a pricing lesson uh, in there with that one. Uh, and then we've also got uh, sports hats. We've got several sports hats uh, going out for $40, $50. Uh, sports hats are really doing well right now. While I had you here, I did want a little crowdsourcing. Uh, what do you guys think my next video should be? I'm always going to do the sales videos, but uh, I've had some ideas on the next video. I'd like to hear you down in the comments uh, what kind of you'd like to see. I have a couple ideas I want to share with you. Uh, one, what about a top 10 sales video? Like I pull up all my sales for the last year and see if I can find, I know I can find the 10 hats that sold for the most money. And we can go through those kind of like a top 10 list. I think that would really be fun. Uh, and, or do you want me to do another deep dive video? Maybe pick three brands of hats and then really dive into those and see which ones we're looking at. I need to do that series still. Uh, and then how about how we list 50 hats a day? Because uh, that's usually our goal. We try to get 50 hats listed every day. Uh, some days it's 25. Uh, a lot of days we do 50, but we do a little clothing on top here and there uh, also to supplement that. Last thing, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I'd really appreciate that. I don't try to ask every single video, but I know about 66% of you guys are watching, but not subscribing. So uh, I'd really appreciate if you just hit that button real quick. It really keeps me motivated to keep doing the videos and keeps me favorable in the algorithm, which is always important. So let's get to the garage and see what's sold. All right, guys, first up for $13 going out was this uh, Harry Potter, the Deathly Hallows. It was a flex fit hat. Cool hat. Next up was this Jeep hat. Uh, it went for $12. It was a vintage Jeep hat, had a rope on it, uh, nice embroidery, just kind of a little rough shape. Uh, it, somebody could probably bring it back to life. Next up was a North Face strapback hat. This one went for $16. Uh, and it was some intense negotiations uh, with, this, uh, with the buyer. He wanted me to measure the circumference and uh, the radius and the diameter and I, I said I, I didn't have time to do that, but uh, he bought it anyway, $16. Next up was a pink Floyd hat. This one went out for $17, dark side of the moon on the back. It's a regular pink Floyd dad hat. It did have the pink Floyd tag on the inside too. Next up was a Nike Featherlight hat. It went for 13. It was a youth. It was kind of a smaller size with the white swoosh on it. There's the Featherlight tag. Next up was a Bolo Polo. Uh, this kind of had the P and Old English on the front. It went for $65. Uh, really neat hat right here. It went at international as well. It had the leather strap back on it. And uh, here's the, the tag. Really good one to look out for. Polo hats, you just always want to pick them up, especially if they're a dollar or two. You can hit the jackpot sometimes, but the regular pony hats sell for 10 to 30, depending on condition and whether it has a leather strap. But this was a really good one, 65. Next up was a Nike strap back hat. This one went out for $12, uh, pretty clean. Um, it's a little older, had the big fat strap on the back um, and it had the one size on the inside. Next up, we sold another one. Uh, this one was keep a lookout for. A lot of people collect them, these black clover hats. This one sold for $15 as well. It was white and red. They always have the Live Lucky on the side and the clover on the front. These are pretty good hats. Next up was just a Louisville Slugger Dad hat. This one went out for around $12, just a strap back. Uh, this, was, this was older, probably mid-2000s, but had the nice patch on the front. Baseball hat. Next up was uh, ACC Football Champions. We got the Hokies, uh, Virginia Tech. It went out for uh, $15. This was just a Regular dad hat by Legacy. Next up was another vintage funny trucker hat. This one went for $15 as well. Just had the uh, funny line on it about being bald and how this can uh, help cover that up for you. Next up was uh, Philadelphia Eagles. It went for like nine bucks. It was a Reebok strap back. 
pretty faded, not in the best of shape. It was older because it had this Proline tag in it, but uh, just wasn't in the best of shape. Next up was this Diamond Supply hat. Had it for a while, went on sale for like uh, seven, eight dollars. Uh, still had the cool snaps on the back with the diamonds, but Diamond Supply does not sell that for that much or that fast usually. They have cool hats, but uh, just not really in demand. All right, next up was this New York uh, Mets uh, vintage hat. It was in pretty good shape. It went for $28. One, because it had the young and snap on it, and uh, it wasn't like full mesh like you see a lot of times in these types of trucker hats from like the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, and it just went, uh, it sold pretty quickly uh, for $28. All right, let's go to Mary uh, with a couple of your questions. We'll get answered throughout this video. I wanna make sure that I answer some of them on the video, but I answer every single question in the comments. So if you ever have anything, drop it down below, but we're gonna answer a few of them in the videos that we do too. So what do you got, Mary? Uh, the first question is from Florida Native 59 They want to know what percentage do we promote at? Um, promoted listings is a very touchy topic. Everybody has their own way of doing it. If the hats are rare, and what I usually do is I will go a day without a promotion uh, in case somebody was looking for that specific hat and they have a search set up for it, they're going to find it either way so you can sell it without promoting it at all. After a day goes by, I start promoting at 2.6%. Uh, that's a flat rate on everything. And then after that, as the items get older, every 30 days, I'll either kick it up a percent or two until I get to around 10 or 12 percent, and then that's kind of the cap. I'm not going to go over that, but I give items time to sell before I start either marking them down or spending too much money in promoted listings. All right, the first hat that's up is, uh, it was just a Elm Hat, snapback, this one only went for $7, $7 hat. Next hat was a Portland Trailblazers snapback, snapback Portland Trailblazers hat. It went out for $10. The next hat they got a really good deal on, this is a vintage Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Had a really cool logo on it. Uh, it was fitted, new era vintage hat only ten dollars next up was a blank richardson uh this went out for like eight dollars people are always looking for blank hats this one went pretty cheap this is a flex fit blank richardson hat next up was a hat that i've had forever it went out for eight dollars it was just a south africa theme just said south africa on the back had uh, elephants and rhinos and lions and tigers all over it. It was new with tags, but uh, just not a very hot seller. Next up was a banger, and I got several in here today. Um, this one I tell you to look out for all the time. I told you about the game logo the other day. It's got the game logo on it. It's a snapback Idaho Vandals. Uh, and this is kind of, I called it big logo, because uh, the game does make a big logo hat that the logo goes all the way across the crown. This hat right here goes on the bill, and then up here, still a really cool big logo hat. This went for $40. It was pretty clean, too. Great hat right here. Great one to look out for, the game vintage. Next up was a Carhartt winter hat. This one went out for $14. Uh, I had the ear flaps on it, um, and that's a really good price. These usually go for around $20 to $25. Um, I got a low ball offer on a nice winter hat yesterday and uh, I decided to just end the listing and I relisted it for a higher price because I probably listed it back in the summer and it's really time for these winter hats to start selling and if you notice them in your store they're marked down and then you get another low ball offer on them sometimes it's best just to delist it and then relist it back at the price you think it will really sell for uh, but I didn't catch this one $14 is a great price. Next up was a vintage above the rim. I think this one went for only ten dollars. Uh, it was just had no tag in it. Uh, just kind of an older above the rim hoop wear. Next up was a vintage Six Flags Ultra Twister. It went for twenty seven dollars, and this is just 
knowing I pressed it up just because I thought that somebody might really like a vintage Ultra Twister hat. I really had nothing but a feeling that somebody would pay $27 or $30 for this hat. Besides just, just kind of a gut feeling. There was no comps. There was none out there. And sometimes you just got to kind of know, hey, I think somebody might really like that. That might be some nostalgia for somebody that went to Six Flags or worked at Six Flags. And I love that ride. Next up was a grumpy, grumpy hat, Disney grumpy hat. It was flex fitted, had grumpy all over with pickaxes on it. Next up was a vintage uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. This was a pretty good hat too. Um, it just was a little bit dirty on the bill. It went for $13. It was vintage NHL hockey Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice wool hat, snapback. Next up was a great Nike hat that went for $23. This is Nike skateboarding, Nike SB. Always want to be on the lookout for Nike skateboarding. This is a regular white dad hat with the pink swoosh. Still $23 Nike skateboarding. Next hat went for $47, Microsoft AI Nike hat, strap back. It was clean, had the tags. Again, just got to know that AI is hot right here, right now. Everybody is talking about AI. This hat is not, wasn't out there on the market. I thought it, somebody would pay $50 for it and they did. And that's, that's how I price things sometimes. You just gotta have a feel for it. And everybody asks about sold comps or how do you price things. Sometimes it's on a feeling. Sometimes your feeling is wrong and that's why you mark things down gradually or you promote them more uh, and then you get it to the price where it hits. But uh, just kind of have a feeling that this hat was going to be awesome. At least a $50 hat and it paid off. Next up was a vintage Notre Dame hat. Uh, this one was New Era. Somebody asked me about it on uh, YouTube. Um, I got it listed and it sold quickly. I told them it'd be a twenty to thirty dollar hat, and yeah, this one went for twenty five. New era Notre Dame, clean inside. Next up was uh, Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Great logo to look out for, especially in vintage. Really good hat. This one went for twenty five. It was just more of a dad hat. The snapbacks will go for more, but this one was a strapback Anaheim Mighty Ducks hat. Uh, it was made by G-Cap, which is a good vintage brand, but I priced this one a little lower. Some of them go for around 50 uh, to hundreds of dollars for Anaheim Mighty Ducks hats. But since mine was a dad hat and it had some corrosion as well, um, I took 25. Next up was another quick flip. I just listed this one yesterday. Dole Hawaii corduroy hat, like Dole pineapples canning. Uh, went for $30.00. Uh, I think I listed it around 50. Uh, had sold comps around 35 to 45. Somebody offered me 30 and I took it. Corduroy hats though. It's getting colder. They'll start selling. All right, last up was another banger sold in about 20 minutes. This one went for $50. This is a Detroit Tigers. Uh, I don't know how well I've explained the bar in the past, but this is when you're searching, these are five, this is five bar. There's a three bar and a five bar. This is a five bar and uh, I priced it around 70 to 80. Uh, I took the 50. Most of them sold around 50 to 70. So I took the 50 in about two minutes. But you want to keep an eye out for these bar hats if they're vintage. Like this one was by, I think, yeah, Drew Pearson. Definitely a vintage brand. Great Detroit Tigers hat. Sold in about 15 minutes. All right, guys, if you hadn't hit that like button yet, I need you to do that right now because we're going to get to our next question that we're going to answer. So let's hear it, Mary. Okay, the next one comes from Oregon Coastal Crabbing Shellfish. They want to know, do you accept all offers and how long does it take your average hat to sell? Great question. I do not accept all offers. I accept reasonable offers. If I have something priced for $30 or $40 and you send me $5, I'm probably not going to accept that. I wouldn't expect most people would. Um, if you send me $30 for something I have priced $40, I'm probably going to take that. So uh, reasonable offers, yes. If it's completely low ball, I will either decline or send back. Um, if, it, if I know that they're not a serious buyer, 
if they don't have the repeat buyer on there or I don't I just think they're not serious then I'm just going to decline it and move on with my day uh, if it's just a little low I'll send back what I'm expecting for the item and uh, kind of go from there but uh, what was the other part of the question Mary um, it was how long does your average hat take to sell an average hat probably about 90 days if you just listed a Titleist hat um, and it was just a basic Titleist hat you could probably expect it to take about 90 days to sell and that's if you price it at the market uh, if you come in and you list this hat at nine dollars uh, it could it could sell in a couple of days if you list it around 15 to 20 this one's actually OU so they're kind of harder to find with the collegiate teams on there they can sell for up to 20 to 25 but if you're listing in that price range it could take about 90 days to sell okay uh, first up is a New York Yankees just a flex fit hat I actually found this one at the Goodwill for a couple of dollars um, didn't you say that this one was combined Mary Adidas Flex Fit, black and white, or black and red. Black and red. All right, so we got an Adidas Flex Fit and the New York Yankees that are going out together. All right, next up was this fishing hat. Um, if you watch the unboxing video from, it was just a couple of days ago uh, that I put it out. I said this fishing hat would sell for about $35. And I know y'all laughed inside and you were like, oh, no, it won't. That's not a $30, $40 hat. This one went, and where did I say it would go? Mary, where did this one go? How much did uh, they pay for it? Um, it sold for 35 and it is going international to Japan. International to Japan. Always keep a lookout for these. This one was in great condition too. So uh, $35 international sale. Awesome little sale right here. Next up was uh, Fitted NBA. This one was just kind of small. It was really cool colors on it though. Uh, I guess it was actually the... Los Angeles Clippers, size seven and eight. Next up was a Seattle Seahawks 3930 Flex Fit New Era hat. Uh, next up was a Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, it says 25 on it, so I'm not exactly sure. They're not 25 years old yet, are they? But well, maybe they are. I guess it was around 97. Jacksonville Jaguars were formed in 1995 as an expansion team along with the Carolina Panthers. They were a member of the AFC Central until they moved to AFC South in 2002. I stand corrected. Maybe 1995. But uh, happy 20th, 5th anniversary, Jacksonville. Next up was just an Adidas dad hat. Strap back Adidas. Next up was a lightweight Columbia. Just a strap back hat. Next up was a New England Patriots. Just a regular dad hat. Really cool though. I like this one. Next up, had a question yesterday um, about cadet hats. And here's an army hat, cadet hat. I would label this as a cadet style hat. Or army hat is what I actually use. Uh, and usually they're women's styles. They also make men's styles, but uh, they do sell. Uh, this one is Obey. It's an Obey Army or Cadet hat. Um, they, they do sell. Just make sure you use the, the term Army in the description. And also when you're listing them, make sure you uh, list it as an Army hat, not a baseball hat or something else like that. And they will sell. Next up was a... There's your Carolina Panthers. Uh, so I guess they uh, joined the league in 1995, if you didn't know. Um, but uh, this is a Nike hat. Uh, it was really cool. It, the Nike hats can really, they retain their value, about $20 usually. Uh, this one was a really, and if they're really good and clean like this one, 20, easy 20. Next up was a Seattle Seahawks. Um, this is a vintage logo athletic not the most desirable logo athletic but uh, this is a grid pattern uh, they make a grid that goes uh the whole hat is a grid but this was just like grid on the bill uh, you want to make sure and use a grid in the title uh, so people can find it if they're looking for a grid hat next up was uh disney mickey mouse with with uh, glasses on just snap back next up was a uh, patagonia 
snapback, regular Patagonia. Next up, we had a cycling cap. This one was Full Sail. I think that's a yeah, brewing company. It's a beer. Next up was an REI Co-op uh, fleece hat. Even though the clothing may not have picked up for us, the uh, winter style hats are still selling, uh, doing pretty well. Uh, this is a cool REI hat right here. Next up was uh, Oregon State Beavers. This is a lightweight Nike team hat. This one's probably 2010-ish, maybe a little earlier. And another Oregon Nike hat. The Nike hats are really selling today. We got an Oregon Ducks strap back. Uh, next was a Polaris. I think that was this was on an unboxing video, the last one I did. They Polaris hats always sell really well. Always have the great designs like this one. This was a snapback racing Polaris hat. And next up was uh, Gonzaga. This was on our unboxing as well. We just listed this one. The Gonzaga Flex Fit Nike hat. Did really well too. I'm sure it went for around $20. All right, last up. If you saw our unboxing video, I know I keep saying unboxing video over and over again, but a lot of them we just listed, just got sold. This one was also really interesting. Uh, it was a cheap trick. I, I told you that um, it just depends how many are out there of this style and in the band hats. And if you have the only ones you set the market, uh, I sold this one for around 40 to $50 because I had the only two actually. Uh, so that's where I kind of went in on the market. And so it's really important that you look and see what's out there. And especially band hats, if you have the unique one that not everyone has, that's when you want to do a little more research, price it up a little bit and uh, get it sold for the most that you can. Oh, wait, is it voice activated? I think so. I don't know what the, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's start recording. I said start recording and it started recording. Stop recording.